Visitors know how to speak to engines nicely. There were still lots of puddles after the rain. But wherever the line came near the road, Bert found the two men there, looking into their cameras. Hello! Hello! Oh, you'd think they might wave at an engine. They can't wave and get good pictures. I've got such a pain, groaned James. Your injectors failed, said his driver. Blockage in the pipe, most likely. We'll have to stop and deal with your fire. Can't go on without water. Don't set the sleepers on fire, pleaded James. Henry will never let you forget it. The fireman laughed. You'll be all right if we just damp you down, he said. There's no need to throw the fire out, as Henry did. They stopped near a signal box, and James' driver asked the signalman to telephone for help. Henry spoke a good word for 7101, and the others gave him a welcome. He had good manners for a start, so Henry didn't find it hard to teach him our ways. 7101 finds them different from those of the other railway, but much more interesting. He is now quite a useful engine. Some careless sheep had strayed onto the line. He's bumped us, screamed the coaches. Let's get back at him. They surged into Sir Handel and pushed him off the rails. No one was hurt, but Sir Handel limped sadly to the shed. No more work for you today, said his driver. How are we going to pull the visitor's train without an engine? <laughs> I won't. 
But as they were traveling back along the line, Mike's driver heard a funny noise. What's that? What's what? That funny sound. Don't you start. No. Listen. Something is rattling on your boiler. Never mind that. You can tighten up whatever it is when we get back. But then there was trouble. Get out of my way! Patience, Mike. The cow will move on in time. The inspector stood on Edward's front, holding a noose of rope in the crook of the shunter's pole. He was trying to slip it over James's buffer. The engines swayed and lurched. At last, got him! He shouted. He pulled the noose tight. Gently braking, Edward's driver checked the engine speed and James's fireman scrambled across and took control. Right away, guard. replied Oliver, and they forged ahead. Clouds of smoke and steam poured from his funnel into the cold air, and the fire's light shone brightly. Hurry, 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 panted Henry. going well. The light grew better. Signal light shone green as they passed. Thomas grew more and more excited. Too excited for his own good. I'm glad I'm a splendid engine, he puffed. Sir Topham Hatt thinks I'm really useful. I had a race with Bertie once. I whooshed through the tunnel and stopped an inch from the buffers. Then Thomas made his mistake. Just like this, he boasted.